Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we will build a production grade ghost blog. So this is uh, this is the example blog I have just built. Uh, I'm using a custom domain I have bought on Namestreet, but you can use anything really you want. Um, so um, I mean you also don't need to actually buy the domain, you can just host it um, on the EC2 instance and access it over an IP address. So, um, in order to uh, create our blog, we will use AWS, Amazon Web Services, uh, since we can pretty cheaply um, host it, and I think it is one of the better solutions, even one of the best solutions for um, hosting pretty much anything. Uh, you also have a free tier uh, in which you can uh, host everything on a small EC2 instance and um, this should be enough for a blog that gets over thousands of visits each month. So uh, let's get going. Um, first we need to create an EC2 instance. So I already have instances running here but we will create a completely new instance right here. Uh, we will also use an Ubuntu server. Uh, it is also free tier eligible. So we choose the 64-bit one, not our one. So let's select this. Uh, this is the T2 Micro which is free tier eligible for one year after you have created your account but for uh, a small to medium sized blog, this should be more than enough. And throwing a CDN in front of that should also um, resolve any any problem uh, with uh, traffic. So uh, we can go to the next configurations. You have you can pretty much leave this on default. Of course, if you um, want to configure any, anything specific to AWS, you can do that, but uh, in our case, uh, we can leave everything by default. Uh, we can go to review and launch. Uh, you can check your settings one more time. And after that, you can press the launch button. Uh, then you get asked, uh, do you want to create a new key pair or you want to use an existing one? We will create a new key pair. We will need this key pair in order to SSH into our server, so really important. Uh, after our instance is running, uh, we can access the instance. If I just copy the public IP address, that's our instance, but we will not receive anything because there is nothing on the instance which uh, we can access. Uh, so, uh, I head over to the Ghost website. They have a really nice documentation about um, creating your instance in production. Uh, so, in order to SSH into our instance, we will use Putty since I am currently running this on Windows. If you are running it on uh, Ubuntu or Mac, you can just use the terminal, which is, I find, a bit easier than using Putty. Uh, but, okay, um, another thing. Uh, we need to generate a key. Uh, we have downloaded the PEMP file, uh, but since we are using PuTTY, we need to use a special uh, PuTTY key. So we just import the PEMP file, then we save it as private key. We can just call it test. That's it. Now we can log into our instance. So switch back to PuTTY go to the auth folder and import the key pair we have just generated. Then go back to the session folder and here is our user we want to log into. Since we're using an Ubuntu instance, it is per default uh, the Ubuntu user. So if it was an um, Amazon, uh, what are they called, uh, an Amazon image, uh, it would be an EC2 user, but since it's an Ubuntu image, um, the user is Ubuntu. Then an add sign and the IP address. Yes, you want to trust it. Okay, great. We are now into the, uh, we are right now in the EC2 instance. If you're having problems with it, 
uh, please check the key you have just downloaded and also you should check the security group to check uh, if SSH is allowed as an inbound rule. Generally, if you're having problems, you can always check the inbound and outbound rules. We have an SSH inbound rule, so this means we can SSH and outbound is all traffic, which is great. Uh, right now, uh, we are just pretty much going to copy those commands. Uh, we need to wait till this updates. Fine. Uh, then we'll run the next command. Yes. Okay, great. This is just updating our packages since we have just installed the version. Uh, the next uh, step is to install an ngx instance. Um, this can also be uh, uh, you can also do this another way or if you already have nginx installed you can skip this step but since we are having a new instance here we will uh, just follow this step okay this uh, should not take any longer great uh, the next step We are basically just following the guidelines here Nothing too special to do uh, The next one is to install a MySQL instance um, We can type in a password Let's type in test Repeat the password Type in test again Great um, if you are running this on an Ubuntu 18.4 version, you also need to add a root user. Um, but we can, I mean, you need to add a password for the root user. But we can skip this step since um, we are running this on version 16. Uh, so the next step is to install Node. Great, this is running pretty fast. Um, if you have experience with it, you can get it um, running in basically two or three minutes. Um, now is the funny part. We are going to install the ghost instance. So sudo npm install ghost CLI. Uh, the latest is just going to install the latest version, which of the time of recording this video is the uh, version 3.0, I think. Um, <clears throat> you can also install a specific version if you want. Um, okay, everything seems to be fine right now. Okay, after we have installed the uh, uh, Ghost CLI, we can now install our Ghost instance. So, we are just going to make a new folder. Uh, you can name this in a different way if you want, but let's just go with the default one. Um, then let's copy the next command. Here uh, we will need to input our user. Since we have skipped this step in the beginning, I will just use the Ubuntu user. You can of course create different users and give them per, uh, different permission roles. Um, let's go to the next one. Great, and let's just cd into it. I'm really lazy, so I'm just copying all the commands. Um, and the last step is just to run ghost install, uh, which takes a little while. Okay, after this is this is finished, we are prompted to um, input some information here. So this is our URL. Um, of course, you can um, use your domain here, since I am not going to use a domain for this example, I will just copy um, the IP address. In a case you're using a domain, you would of course type in your domain here. Um, our host, MySQL hostname, we can just leave this as it is. Uh, their username, we will use root as the username and the password we have configured. 
Um, this we can leave this one as blank. Uh, do you wish to set up Coast MySQL user? Yes. Do you wish to set up Nginx? Yes, this will make our life much easier. Uh, System D, yes. Do you want to start Ghost? Yes. Now we will just wait for Ghost to start. This shouldn't take a long while. Uh, if anything goes wrong, uh, the problem could be that the database is not configured right or you haven't uh, used the correct username. So right now uh, we can actually visit uh, our website. There's just one thing we need to configure first and this is the inbound rules. We have configured the inbound rules to be just SSH. We need to add a new rule, just type add, type in HTTP and just choose the default one. So HTTP and just select it. I have already done that so I'm going to cancel. Of course uh, when you can also install an uh, SSL script and then you would basically just use HTTPS and redirect it to HTTP uh, but for this simple uh, example we will just use HTTP um, so right now we can go to the website and yeah, this is the admin dashboard or we can just visit the website and here it is. So I hope this tutorial was useful and if you have any other questions or would like me to do another tutorial, for example, setting up uh, SSL or um, any other configurations you would like me to see, please comment down below. Thank you.